Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV, and today, welcome back to Late Night News. Our top story of the day is a report on uh, how long, much longer Russia can last in the war in their war against Ukraine. But our first headlines of our day of the day. Stocks fall, dollar and treasury yields edge down after the consumer price index and jobless claims data comes back negative. Trump rejects Fox News invite oh, to debate Harris in late October. A hundred masked invaders surround Ross Washington State home. Don't worry, it was only raccoons. And lastly, on to our main story of the day. You can read more detail of our headlines in the shorts feed on our YouTube channel. Russia's mass advantage against Ukraine should start declining by 2025, war expert says. The Russia is flooding Ukraine with men and equipment, but that should soon slow. Its high losses indicate its military is strained under the current level of aggression. While, while, while Michael Kaufman, the analyst, doesn't think Russia will run out of steam, he said that the Kremlin will be forced to recalibrate. So let's talk about this briefly, shall we? Like Russia very much had their military is very much a paper tiger. Not to the level that um Afghanistan was, but you know, they were very much overcompensating with their image. And the way that the Russian military is structured is very much like a place where young men go into temporarily to get some job training or whatever when they weren't able to find a job or whatever in other ways. And then you get out. People that spend their life in the military aren't necessarily looked well upon, and that's very much you know by design. After Putin came to power, he knew that anybody that could potentially challenge him would have come up through the military. They would have like like anyone that would challenge him in his leadership would have to come up through the military, and um, you know, so he very much made the military a kind of you know, a lot of the issues with the Russian military of like what of like things being stolen, paper, you know, like you know, people, officers selling stuff, the. Military men not necessarily being like the most fantastic. It, it's all by design. The training is is worth is lesser. The equipment is lesser. You know they. You know Russia how technologically is very much behind, like 30, 40 years behind the rest of the world. Like you know their their equipment is built for you know quelling domestic disputes or selling equipment to foreign dictators to also quell domestic disputes, but. You know, the Gulf War back in the 1980s was a prime example of like, hey, this the, like Russian shit ain't 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 fantastic, you know, because Iran was considered like one of the best equipped, best trained militaries. They're using mostly Soviet equipment and then they got their ass handed to them by, you know, Amer by like NATO level, like NATO tier like armaments. And that was kind of like the beginning of the end. Like, yes, while Russia might very much have this veneer of like rugged, you know, durability and having and like being, you know, kind of glazed by many, particularly authoritarian leaning people in the West, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, um, Russian equipment and training is really not that good. You know, there's a reason why they're being held up by Ukraine. You know, like there's a reason why, like, gun, like, Zelensky doesn't ask for money. He asks for guns, bullets, vehicles, and bombs. You know, the 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 Western equipment is what is keeping Russia at bay because you know, and analysts have known this for about like, like, like a lot of analysts have like known this for about 15 odd years. Just nobody fucking listens to them. Is that Russia is not equipped to fight in NATO? Like the rest of the world at once. China could do that. You know, possibly. The United States absolutely could. But Russia could, can't. You know, hell, even their more, their higher tech, you know, tanks, planes, you know, and vehicles, those were all destroyed in the early aughts of the war. And most of the, those, um, you know, most of that equipment also relied on parts that Russia does not have the capacity to make. So, you know, ultimately, Russia's kind of like, uh, like, this kind of makes sense. Like, Russia has an obscene amount of people and resources. Like, this is obviously true. The Red Army back during the Soviet days was 11 
million strong. That is an insane number of men in arms. And Russia kind of inherited like that to a degree, but you know, their stockpiles of Soviet era arms are depleting. You know, and we generally don't know what's going on behind enemy lines, but like the you know, they're not saying fuck you artillery anymore as, you know, as um to combat. And you know, now that Ukraine has things like the high Mars and other and even longer range missiles, you know, the counter like artillery counter battery isn't really an option you know, of, as viable of an option for them anymore, for Russia anymore. Russia is kind of cooked in the long term, which is a big reason why they are, like, investing so much money in, into, you know, right-wing, you know, ideologues in other countries to sort of, like, especially in media organizations that recently happened with the likes of Tim Pool and stuff like that, getting money from them. It is because they ultimately know that other authoritarian leading people will be more friendly to them trump is a good example of this le pen in france is a good example of this the fascist the uh, uh the mussolini party in um uh italy is a good example of this and so ultimately you know they realize that like if they want a shot in hell of like conquering ukraine which is not even like the hard part like occupying it is going to be a fucking nightmare for them like look at us we were we the united states is the most powerful military on the planet and we weren't able to hold the afghanistan we weren't able to hold the middle east you know so them's the breaks so i think ultimately slava ukraine obviously but you know i think russia is going to you know, I think Russia probably realized that it was probably a better use of resources to sort of like get, you know, NATO countries to turn off the fire hose of, of ar armaments and stuff than it is to actually try and like invest in men materials, men and materials to um, actually win the war. So Putin's kind of cooked. He's kind of fired or killed everybody that, you know, use, whose job it was to sort of like keep a uh, uh, you know, a veneer of him, like he, like he always had people that were able to. He could blame if shit went wrong. He doesn't have that anymore. He's taken more and more active control of the situation, and he's a strong man. He is good for the camera and not much else. He, you know, his leadership is interpreted, you know, by people and. You know, like the Kremlin is a it has been is a you know political machine, and is and is like a, a wild nightmare. So, Laser Pig has an excellent video on all of this that you guys can um uh, go check out on the Kremlin. It's one of his more recent ones, so go check that out. He goes into it in, a, in much more detail than me. So, but yeah, Russia is kind of you know I I I I'm hoping that. We continue to support Ukraine. It is out of the two wars that we are supporting right now, this and the Israeli war of genocide of the Palestinians. Obviously, the supporting Ukraine is a morally good war to support. You know, so I'm, you know, I personally don't have any a problem with that. And also, I'm also like the military, like people like Boeing and Raytheon aren't pushing for a war for Americans to like get boots on the ground and stuff um, to like justify them, conti their continued like profits going burr. So if we're fun, if we're sending materials and met in, in, in that guard overseas, that means that our military men and women don't have to go over and fight and die, which is a good thing as far as I'm concerned. Hey. Thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg/tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.